Hello, uh, my name is Simon Naylor and I am playing Michael Winters. And uh, my name is Darren Jeffries and I'm playing John Winters. The play originally started out as a 20 minute um, short for Manchester ADP, which was a, is a scripting and sort of reading. And I loved Scott's writing, I thought it was absolutely incredible. From there, I just said to Scott, look, this is, this is awesome, Let's, can you make it into a full length piece? And it has done, and it's incredible. It's even better than um, I ever envisaged it could be. And we're delighted to be able to do it, really. It is about two sides, the police and the writers. And neither one is right, neither one is wrong. We've humanised uh, both sides. Yeah. If you see all the footage from the riots, all you really saw were these, I guess, hooded, faceless yeah. people looting, stealing, and the reason why hasn't really been explored. So what we're doing is giving these these characters uh, a background and a bit of a truth and, and a reason behind what they're doing. All of them um, are humans and they have a family and they have a reason for doing it. Whether you think that reason is right or whether it's wrong, uh, you know, that varies. Certainly the, the rioters that we're looking at in the Winter family um, riot because they feel there is no other choice. There's no other option for them to make a stand against what they feel is an injustice. The audience get a chance to connect with both sides on an absolute level playing field. And actually, I think, if we do it right, you could find that the audience is split. So what we've got with this play uh, is uh, an amazing director in, in Lawrence. Well, he's been, oh, I love him. <laughs> he's amazing. He's good. He's fantastic. And um, I don't think I've worked with a director like Lawrence before. Um, he's really pushing everybody to really think about what we're doing and why we're doing it as well. Scott's written such an amazing script, it would be really easy for us to just say those words and I guess we would get by. You know, yeah, it's such absolutely. a strong yeah, yeah, script. Yeah, yeah. But Lawrence is really picking it apart and really making us dig deep. Uh, the cast are great as well. Wow. Really nice cast. This has been the odd bad egg. <laughs> been the odd person that drags the rest of us down. You know? There's always Matt, one. There's always awful. one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's something like Tim from an actor. It has been an amazing process. It really has. Mm. And um, we're in the thick of it at the moment. As this day is sort of going on um, and I feel like we've turned another page in terms of where we're going with this. Mm. It has been really challenging because mm. as we said you have got this fantastic script um, but at the same time we, we are trying to make these characters believable and real um, so it's that fine balance between delivering this, this poetic dialogue but at the same time coming across like real people. With doing Hollyoaks at the same time as well, um, I've been you, practically... You, you're doing Hollyoaks? I don't tell you. No, I haven't noticed yeah. that, mate. No. I tell everyone. I'm not telling you. No, no, no. All right, That's so exciting for you, mate. That's good, man. Um, I like yeah. that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I've been practically married to the M62, going back and forth. A um, little bit worn out, but at the same time, totally worth it. There's no way I would have turned this down in a million years. So it's just about making it work. But it has been nice being back at Hollyoaks. Um, I think we're going to get the cast down to see hopefully, the play as well. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. They're a critical lot, but um, no, they'll love it, <laughs> they'll love it. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. This is also the first full length production we're doing at 53.2. Um, stupid idea for me to be a part of it, really. Uh, it's killing me. Yeah, man. Uh, stupid, really yeah, stupid. brave, I'd say. No, stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really exciting for us to be able to, to bring new writing about Manchester, from Manchester, with actors, from the northwest um, to to the, the, this venue, which is entirely been created to do just that. The piece is going to split the panel. It's pretty new. It's pretty innovative. I don't think everyone will like it. Actually, well, come and make your own mind up. It's it's unlike anything Manchester's seen before, um, and for that reason, we're delighted to have it here at 53.2. So when both sides surrender is on from the 15th until the 26th and you can get your tickets from www.we.tickets.com forward slash 532. That was nice. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, £12 as well there. Yeah? Um, we'd love you to come. We'd love you to come because actually we think the play needs an audience. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I'd like an audience. We'd like an audience. Uh, but come and support this new venue as well. Come and support something new and exciting in Manchester. Get down and see us. It's a bit naughty as well. There's like some broken glass and stuff going on and some fighting. A bit sexy talk. Is there? A little bit. Where? <laughs> I, haven't I haven't seen this scene. I lied. <laughs> There's none. There's no sex at all. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>